Well, Bill, it looks like this was an attempt to smash through the front entrance of this Walgreens and steal the ATM inside here. You can still see some straps here on the scene just lying on the ground here all around this damage to the front of the store. Those straps potentially used to try to pull that ATM out of here once they busted that truck through the front entrance. This is on Jackson Street here in the Central District. Seattle Police telling us the pickup did try to crash through the front here around 4 o'clock this morning now we've got video of that truck because it has been found and it is abandoned this is not far from here on 25th Avenue South and South Norman police actually brought out a canine unit but they could not locate the suspects they say they are looking right now for three males they also believe these suspects were trying to pull out that ATM from the pharmacy here but were unsuccessful and these uh, these fences that they pulled down these metal grades they did the job for the most part here even though it, they did a lot of damage here as well and of course we've seen a lot of smash and grabs using vehicles at pot shops and smoke shops including one that was hit twice just last week those are the crimes that we're seeing here very recently but in the last few years we've also seen a lot of scenes like this at area pharmacies where criminals are using vehicles to try to smash through these front entrances and then steal the ATMs to the point where some local leaders have said these kind of stores should stop having ATMs in the stores, especially ATMs that are so close to the door where criminals can try to smash through here, grab them, and take off. They were not successful here, but there's still going to be a lot of cleanup, and we don't know when this store will reopen. We're live in Seattle. John Upset, Fox 13 News.